tremble. Remember that will only bring a smile. But until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then, with joy I'll carry on. Until that day.
verse number two. Oh, my loving brother, when the world's on fire, don't you want God's bosom to be your pillow? Hide me ever in the rock of ages. Amen. Rock of ages, clear for me. Amen. We'll sing the two verses. have taken or to leave and follow thee destitute despised forsaken thou from hence my all shalt be we'll sing verses one and two of this song verses one and two sing this two times after the abiding blessings unconfined for I'm living in Canaan now we'll sing we'll sing verses one three and four one three and four Thank you. 
song we'll sing before prayer will be CGS 514. CGS 514. Trust on, trust on, believer, though long the conflict be. Thou yet shall prove victorious. Thy God shall fight for thee. We'll sing all the three verses, and in verse three we'll sing standing up, after which we'll be led in prayer. we thank you. We adore you, God. We have come, Heavenly Father, before you this morning. You know our needs. You know where we are, Father God, spiritually, physically, mentally, you know, God. But we have come to the fountain. We want to trust you today that you will uplift us, Father God. You will take the needs, Father God, you will take the burdens. Your blood, Jesus Christ, is here to wash, to save a soul, to sanctify, Father God, to baptize with the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Jesus, for the healing that has taken place already, the healing that will be done, Father God, today. We thank you, Jesus. It's our day in your hands, Heavenly Father. We want to trust you. Yes. We believe you, God. In our way, Father God, be our way. Amen. Be our eye. Amen. Be our all in all, Amen. God. We thank you today, Amen. Heavenly Father, for the person that is going to preach to us, Father God. Help us, Heavenly Father. Amen. Hear you speak to each and every heart, from the children, from the youth, to the adults, to all of us, Father God. We want to leave this place believing and thanking you that you have done good for us. You will do good for us, God, today. It's our day in your hands. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We pray, believing, giving you all the glory, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
is taken from Ephesians chapter 6, read from verse 10 to 18. Ephesians 6, beginning from verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18, the last. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Amen. God, he's on his 
strand Our fading God He washes for his own He cannot fail He must prevail Our fading God Our fate He I'm reading from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This morning, the Lord wants us to consider a topic which is spiritual armor, or Christian armor. Spiritual armor is otherwise called Christian armor. To bring this topic home, I want us to see what the dictionary has said about armor. Armor is a protective covering that is used to prevent damage from being inflicted to an object, individuals, or vehicle by direct contact, by direct contact weapons, usually during combat or from damage caused by potentially dangerous environment or activity. I want us to note those keywords, which are usually during combat. Combat is when you are at a war front. The other one said damage caused by potentially dangerous environment or activity. In all those uh, instances, we need to be properly kitted. Otherwise, we will suffer a great deal of injuries or death. In this physical, we have all sorts of armor that people use to minimize loss, damage, injuries, or death. Um, we have what we call personal armor. Personal armor could take different forms. Those people who are working in the health sector, they have what you call personal protective equipment. They are forms of armor. When I was in work, uh, God gave me the privilege to coordinate the health and safety arrangement for that organization. And when issue of having protection comes up is always a very sensitive issue. And my employer then spent a lot of money so that we can do induction for our staff on the necessity of being properly protected. Why? Because 
they work in a dangerous environment. And in this country, it's a law that employers must protect the employees. Failure for staff to comply we deem it as a gross misconduct. When my daughter was admitted to do nursing in the university, the issue that uh, we've dealt with so many years ago, ago, uh, ago came up. They were asking about all series of immunization. <coughs> Has she taken this? Has she taken that? Has where we couldn't answer all the questions. We were not sure if she has taken all her immunization, including the booster. She had to go and do a new one. She had to be immunized. Why? Because she is going to be working in a dangerous environment. As we Christians on our way to heaven, do we need armor of God? Yes. I'm very happy to hear that. We need it. Yes. Why? Because we are going to fight. It's not optional. You are going to fight. 2020, you are going to fight. So we need to put our armor on. We thank God for the leadership of our church, they knew that battles are ahead of us. And they declare a whole month to prepare to get our armors in place. It is my prayer that God will help us Amen. to make good use of this opportunity. Amen. To before one is to be well armed. Today is the 26th of January in 2020. Some of us are already fighting. Many more will join. You all may not be now, but one thing I'm sure is that you are going to fight in 2020. And today, God is sending a message to you. Go and be preparing because battle is coming. Our God is able. Yes. Because he has not left us in the dark. That was the reason why he ministered to the people of God. That for a whole month we should be praying. We may be thinking, how can we pray for a whole month? We've not known what God has shown them. But uh, I know, because the Bible said that prophecy, they don't just come like that. May God help us. Amen. Not only that, even in this country, to most of the parents, when the children, when they are born, maybe from day one or day two, I think uh, Sister Layola can correct me, they start giving them what you call uh, immunization. Why do they do that? Some, they put it in their mouth. Some, they inject them. You will be thinking these children, they are innocent. Why are they inflicting pain on them? But they, they know the reason why we are doing it. they are doing it. They know that by the time they discharge them from the hospital, in the environment they are going to be living, we have thousands, if not millions, of diseases, dangerous environment. So the government, they invested in all sorts of uh, human and capital to protect our children. Because they, they know there is no way they will get in contact with either airborne, soilborne, uh, personal contact. So my own thinking is, if those people in the world could value life and they make proactive programs to ensure that we are safe. How much more our God who loves us more than anything 
if human flesh can be thinking about my own daughter going to university, that they don't want her to acquire a disease or anything in the university, and they want me to say yes, she has taken all her immunization. You know when they take their immunization, not only that, when they want to go and walk in the world, you will see them the way they dress. They will have apron, they will have gloves. Some of us in the uh, building trade, we have what we call protective uh, safety boot. So we have goggles. So we have face mask. All for protection. Yeah. We thank God for such a government and such organizations yeah. that they are thinking about our welfare. But this morning, God is thinking about your spiritual welfare. Yeah. He said, we are going to fight. The reason why our own fight is so dangerous is because we don't see the person we are going to fight with. You know, if I know Brown Laiola is going to fight me, I will go and prostrate. Please, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, oh, please forgive me. And he will forgive. But the one we are going to fight, we are not going to see, no. but he will fight us. Amen. May God help us to prepare. Amen. Spiritual armor. We need it. Because we have spiritual fights that we must fight. We have a formidable enemy to fight. We have three distinct enemies. We have the word, we have the flesh, and we have Satan. And unless we are well kitted, we may not be able to engage them. May the Lord help us Amen. to take up all our armor today. Amen. As I said earlier on, uh, God loved this church so much. Because you can see the way people have been coming for evening prayers. Day in, day out. It's possible we can see in our midst, those people have not missed a single day of those prayers. Meaning that they value the armor. Because this armor, you know, the one they provide for us in their place of work, we put them on and we take them off. But this one we want to acquire, there is no resting period. There is no break period, because when you are on break, you can take all your safety something, put them somewhere. And when you are going to the dangerous environment, you put them on. But our enemy is fighting 24 hours. 24 hours nonstop. We got to have our armors on. Amen. And God will help us to have it on. Amen. We were told first Sunday of this year that it's a year of open doors. Yes. Do you think Satan is happy? Do you think uh, Satan will not want to hinder us from entering those open doors? Yes. And how can we enter? We must have, we must have our armors on. This year, some of us will face Goliath. This year, Goliath will come on our way. What are we going to do? What this man of God said, it is my prayer, when, you, when your uncle Goliath come, you will do the same thing he did. Amen. Let's see First Samuel. Chapter 17, verse 45. Because David knew his God. And when your uncle Goliath come, I don't know, maybe it's coming in January or February, but anytime, it is my prayer you will do like David. First Samuel 17, 45. 
Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel. Thou hast defied. May that be your story. Amen. May that be your story. Amen. When Goliath will come your way, you do like David. But we cannot do it on our own. We will have our armor on before we can stand. But God is able to help us. Amen. John chapter 16, verse 33. John 16, 33. John 16.33 These things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulations but be of good cheer I have overcome the world. Amen. It's good for us to add that uh, passage to what we've been saying. Because some people may be saying why is this young man frightening us? I'm not frightening anybody. I'm just telling you a reality. And Jesus has confirmed it. Say, so in 2020, we will have peace. Amen. And when the tribulation will come, we should be of good cheer. Amen. Why? Because our Savior has overcome the world. Amen. Meaning that there is nothing we are, we are going to face in 2020 that our God cannot deal with. May the Lord help us. He's able to help us. And now he's sending these words to us that we must prepare. God has promised us victory. It is my prayer that we will buy into it. What are the Components of Christian armor. Those things we need to do to be able to face the enemy. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. What are the Christian armor we are to put on? Second Corinthians. Chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty, through God, to the pulling down of strongholds. That's the power you have. So it's not carnal. We don't need to go and be looking for safety boots, safety gear to wear. Jesus has paid it all. And the component of all our armor to put on, if we put them on, we have nothing to fear. Because he's telling us in that verse, he said, he said, but mighty true God, Amen. to the pulling down of strongholds, Amen. any stronghold that is on your way, in the name of Jesus, you are going to pull them down. Amen. Because you will be standing on the word of God. Amen. And God honors his word more than his name. Yes. We mentioned where the text read to us, it says sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. For us to be successful this year, we must have the word of God in our hearts. Yes. Our memory verses, may God awaken us from sleep. Yes. We must start to be learning them. Those are the ten Things that we are going to use to, de to defeat the enemy. The word of God. Yes. Psalm 119. 
Psalm 119, verse 11. One one nine eleven. Thy word I have hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. You know, when there is no sin in our, in our hearts, in our hands, when we call, is that before we call? Is that we hear? May God help us to hear the word of God in our hearts. To make a practice, to read the word of God, to meditate on the word of God. Because the enemy of our soul will not write us invitation when it's coming. So we need to be prepared. At all times, at every moment, our God is able to help us. Amen. He said we should have the breastplate of righteousness, say our feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of feet, the gospel of peace. Sheet of faith. Let's see what the Bible says. Hebrew 11, verse 6. Christian armor. May God help us to put it on. Amen. Hebrew chapter chapter 11 verse 6 Hebrews 11:6 But without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. May God increase our faith. Amen. On this way to heaven without faith, we will make a shipwreck of our voyage. Because Satan will fight. But we must exercise faith. Amen. That I know whom I believe. Amen. That he's able to deliver. May God increase our faith. Amen. In 2020, God wants us to exercise faith. Say so we should have helmet of salvation. He said, praying always with all prayer and supplication. I don't think it's only in my Bible, that adjective. It is a pray morning and night. He said, praying always. It is possible to pray always. We can be anywhere and we can offer prayers unto God. From our heart, we can be praying. When we are in the underground, we can pray. You know God, we hear. Yes. Some of us, when we are on the, uh, on the underground, we lose signal, isn't it? Yes. But signal to heaven will never be blocked. We can pray anywhere. Yes. And God will hear our prayer. Amen. You say, praying always with all prayer and supplication. May God make that our lot. He said, we should persevere. At times we will pray. The answer may not come in the, immediately. He said, we should not lose heart. He said, it's working uh, on, our, on our situations. He said, we should persevere. Because he is God. Amen. He knows the right timing. And he will help us. Amen. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Christian armor. Revelation 12, 11. 
and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb Amen. and by the word of their testimony. Amen. And they loved not their lives unto death. And they loved not their lives unto the death. The blood of Jesus. Amen. May it be for you. Amen. May it be for me. Amen. Exodus 12, 13. Exodus 12, 13. Let's merge it to that. And the blood shall be to you for a token Amen. upon the houses we are here. Amen. And when I say the blood, I will pass over you. Amen. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you Amen. when I smite the land of Egypt. The blood of Jesus. Amen. We need it in 2020. Amen. We need to be pleading the blood yes. all the time. And it will avail for us. Amen. In the course of this week, a sister called me. She has started fighting her own battles. And she told me uh, she, she, can't, she couldn't sleep. And she had burning sensation from the head to the toe. And all sorts of things were happening in that body. And to make the matter worse, she couldn't pray. God ministered unto me. And I told the sister, just be telling Jesus, wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. I said, victory is sure. Amen. I think exactly that's what the sister did. And I believe God has given the victory. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Amen. May God help us Amen. not to commonize it. Amen. It's a potent weapon. Yes. He said, when I say the blood, I will pass over you. Amen. May that blood not dry on your head. Amen. May not dry in your, in, in your house. Amen. May that blood be flowing. Amen. It's the word of God. Amen. He said, when I see the blood, Amen. whatever come your way in 2020, Amen. meet it with the blood of Jesus. Amen. They will fall flat. Amen. Because it's the word of God. Amen. Absolute trust in God. Psalm 20, verse 7. Psalm 20, verse 7. These are weapons we are going to use. May God help us to use them. Psalm 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Amen. You know, in uh, Africa, especially in Lagos, where I know a bit, if you have your burglary proof and you rely on it, you are going to open it for them when they come. <laughs> if your trust is all the gadgets, your CCTV, that you are going to sleep soundly, they will cut the wire before you know it. But if you have trust, your trust in God, Amen. your security is safe. Amen. One of my brother, I don't know how many millions, he invested in the security in his house. But I want to tell you, it's only God that can protect. Amen. This my brother, God blessed him with uh, money. There was a time he had to leave his own house and go and rent a house to live. That's the situation. 
But our God is able to protect. He says, some trust in chariots. Let's, let's read it again. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Amen. God is warning us this morning or this afternoon. Our trust must be in him. Yes. As we journey through 2020, mm -hmm. I don't know what God has blessed you with. Don't put your trust in it. Put your trust in God. Yes. The thing of this world will never satisfy. They will never guarantee a safety. Your safety lies in the hand of God. Yes. And God is able to help us. Yes. Second Peter. Second Peter chapter one. I read from five. Second Peter chapter one, verse five. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus is telling us, with all these things we've been hearing, we should add this one to it. Because God is able to help us. He has passed through 2020, so we don't have anything to fear. We have to put our trust in God. This year will be a year of victory for us. Amen. This year will be a year of answers to prayer. Amen. This year is going to be a year of new testimonies. Amen. As we journey through 2020, let us do all within our power and with the help of God, to ensure we have the full armor on. Whatever comes our way, Jesus has told us to be of good cheer because he has overcome the world. Amen. The altars of prayer are open. May God help us to put on the armor. God bless you.
oh Lord, we thank you for your word. Thank you for reminding us of all that you've supplied for our faith to be strong in you, for us to be able to fight this good fight of faith. Help us, oh Lord, Amen. to make um, appreciate these uh, instruments that you've given to us. Help us, oh Lord, to apply them Amen. from day to day Amen. so that we have victory. Amen. Thank you, O oh Lord, as we come to pray. Bible in our hearts that we continue to trust you, to depend solely and wholly on you, that you will help us see us through, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 